So this is my original um, dripper and I had uh, it's a kind of a valve for controlling the speed of air to an aquarium bubbler. Um, I found that it wasn't working that well. I think um, it, it can um, slow down the, the speed of the water a lot but it, it wasn't keeping the speed constant. And I think when you tighten it, uh, stresses stay in the plastic for maybe an hour after you've tightened it. So it the the speed of the water through it seemed to change more than I would like. So I went to something different. So this is the top of some sort of um, aerosol thingy. It's got a little tiny hole in it, and the water drips out and down and dripped off. And this is a drop of water. Anyway, this is how the dripper irrigation works. So you have clean water uh, in a container. So mine is a glass bottle that ha is 3.3 uh, litres, something like that. And I have a little container under it. And as water drips out through this from the little container, the water level in the container falls a little. And when it falls a tiny little bit, uh, a little air goes in and releases water from the bottle so the level here is more or less constant which means that the drip here is more or less constant and the drip uh, drips down here and slowly rises the water here which raises up this float it's connected with string to a kind of a weight on this tube here so as this rises the string goes down and this weight uh, pulls the top of the tube down and you get water dripping out at a pretty well constant rate from and this is a this is a, in my case it's a three inch um, which is 7.5 centimeter diameter uh, um, water pipe and this is a, a blue barrel which is almost uh, 200 liters capacity and um, Anyway, uh, this has been working. I I only took figures a while ago. Anyway, here's the math. So uh, a couple of days ago, I uh, did a three minute test and there was 28 drops in three minutes. And 1.1 milliliters was uh, dripped out of uh, this thing here in the three minutes. So in the three inch uh, diameter pipe this means 124 minutes will rise the water level in it by one centimeter so that means uh, two hours or just over two hours would rise the level of water by one centimeter which would lower the, the uh, little pipe in this by one centimeter so the blue barrel is 70 centimeters high so that means 70 by 2 hours so 140 hours uh, it will take to lower the water to the bottom of the blue barrel and uh, 56 centimeter diameter means you can measure how much per hour that you're uh, dripping out on your um, vegetables or whatever and at this speed it would take six days to empty the rain barrel producing a pretty constant 1.2 liters per hour steady irrigation water but if you used a four inch diameter pipe under the dripper it would take 10 days to empty the barrel so this is you know for me at least this is getting interesting or if you use six inch diameter pipe under the drip it would take 24 days to empty the rain barrel. Uh, mind you, in 24 days you'd have to have a bigger uh, water jar. But um, and I, I still haven't uh, played with this to see how slow it can go. Like it might be able to go even slower. So, yep, uh, this could be very interesting for people. Uh, you know, 20. Even even six days is um, a nice achievement for um, uh, dripping water out of a rain barrel. Um, 
you know, at a concentrate, you, I, there's, I don't think there's a simpler method to do it than this. Anyway, uh, that's it, and uh, I hope that gets more people interested. Thank you. Bye-bye.